In this video, we're going to take a look at the global section within Craft CMS. So we've jumped back into the Happy Lager demo site, and let's go and find our globals option, which is in the left-hand menu. Now, globals are called globals simply because they apply globally across the site. And in this particular example, it's a fairly simple setup. You can see that we have some footer content, and within that, we've got a copyright notice, a contact us label, and an email address. Now, globals are useful because they're a great place to store pieces of content that don't really fit in any of the other entry types that we have in Craft. And we talked about these in a different video, but there is no point in having, let's say, an email address or a phone number that might apply across the whole site, all set up in individual pages. So the globals make a great place to put these. Now, in this case, as I said, it's quite a simple example. We just have three simple text fields that have specific information in them. But we could create all sorts of different fields. In fact, we can use the full range of fields that Craft offers our entries, but store them within our globals. And that means we can have different sections. So although we've got a section here for footer content, we could also have a section for navigation. We could have a section for social media handles. And then you can have the respective fields in those sections to store the relevant information. So globals are a really useful place to store those unusual pieces of content that don't really fit within the overall structure of the site. Now, globals will be set up as we build your site, and we will allocate different types of content into the globals as we see fit following best practice. But if there are particular examples of content that you might want to change across the site, do let us know, and we can add these into the global section, giving you that extra level of control over how particular pieces of content might appear on the site. 